Hey Russell fam, today I am going to show you lesson one of Bailey Saxon Math Homeschool 6-5. Be back in just a second. Alright Russell fam, today we are just reviewing sequences and digits. Um, every Saxon math lesson starts with a warm up. Sorry, can't talk this morning. I think I need some more coffee. Alright, so it starts with the 100 edition timesheet, which is this, and Bailey will do in just a minute. And then over here, it starts with mental math. You go through and I usually just write the problems out for him over here. And then he goes through and answers all of them for the mental math. We'll get to that in just a second. Um, so the new concept, or which is just a review concept, is going to be um, counting is a math skill that we learn early in life. Counting by ones, we say numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, these numbers are called counting numbers. We can also count by a number other than one. Below we show you the first five numbers of counting by twos and the first five numbers of counting by fives. So we have two, four, six, eight, ten, and then we have five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. 25. What would be next? Awesome. Thirty. Thirty. All right. In, uh, in order, an ordered list of numbers form a sequence. Each member of the sequence is a term. The three dots means that the sequence continues even though the numbers aren't written. While we study a sequence to discover its counting pattern or rule, the rule can be used to find more terms in the sequence. What are the next three terms in the counting sequence? Like here. All right, Bailey, we're going to do the next three. We have 3, 6, 9, nine 12, 15, uh -huh. 18, uh -huh. 21. 21. All right, so there you go. So that's what we're doing. And what are we counting by? Threes? Threes, yep. So our rule is three here. All right, so then we come over here and it tells us the pattern is counting by threes. We find that the next three terms we may count upon uh, up, up by threes. All right, and then it goes to example two, and then you have 56, 49, 42, so then you have to figure out what the next number is, and it tells us the solution here, so the next one is going to be 35, and we're counting by sevens, all right, and then there are 10 digits in our number system. They are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. The number 385 has three digits. The last digit is 5. And then it just keeps going on. And then we have another example here. And then we get down here and it has a practice set. So I've already written those problems out for Bailey over here on the practice set. And then you get over here, and then you have the mixed problems. And so that just keeps going, just talking about the same stuff that you learned today. And there's only 25 problems for today. And then we move on to lesson two. And if you, lesson one is pretty straightforward with sequences, but I wanted to show you that this is the solution manual. Oh, no, that's the activity sheet, sorry. That is where I got the math facts from. Here's the solution manual. We're having technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Sorry, had it too far away. But it shows you each lesson. And it shows you here's lesson one, and it shows you the answers for the warm up. And then here it shows you lesson one practice. So here's all the answers for the practice. And then here, here is the mixed practice. 
So I just kind of wanted to go over the lesson one so you can see how Saxon math works. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And we will be back with more homeschooling videos. Bye!